Today, I make some grunge style hand lettering in Adobe Illustrator using the Wacom tablet. Welcome back to Tutorial Graphics everyone, hope you're doing well. Today, I took the phrase, no cares, to design a grunge style hand lettering design with my Wacom tablet and Adobe Illustrator. So I started off by using the pen tool, or should I say, sorry, the pen in the Wacom tablet to design the hand lettering. After that, I highlighted all of the lettering and I outlined the stroke. This turned the lettering into a shape rather than a, than a stroke. And then of course, I went to simplify each letter because there's too many anchor points and to adjust the style and the shape of the letters would be quite tricky. So if you simplify the shape, it limits the amount of anchor points you have. Then I took the pen tool and I created these shapes here, coming up from the side of the lettering. And then I minus from the front using the pathfinder to create the kind of 3D overlapping effect of the lettering. I love using this effect and I do it pretty much every time I make hand lettering these days. But it's quite effective, so I think it looks cool. I've gone ahead and fast forwarded a bit because it's quite tedious to watch me just do the same thing over and over again. So I've gone ahead and I've done the effect on all of the relevant places on my hand lettering. I've taken an image from pixabay.com, linked in the description. It's full of royalty free images. And on the first layer, I've only left the red channel open and in the second layer, I've gone ahead and left open the green and the blue layer. This is going to give a 3D effect. If I move the layers one to the left and one to the right, it would give that 3D effect that when you put on those 3D glasses, it will pop out. Now on the hand lettering layer, which I've just imported from Illustrator to Photoshop, I take the brush tool and I have downloaded some brushes here that are paint splatters. There's a link in the description to a website where you can download similar brush sets. So if you want to check that out, you can find your own brushes there. I wanted to have a really grunge kind of urban style to my hand lettering in this, in this video. Now this is, this is towards the end of the design and I think I'm quite happy with how this looks here. Quite a lot of paint splatters and grunge effect going on here. Now I wanted to have a tagline of sorts that said when you're flying high, no cares when you're flying high. So I generated the text and I was going to put like a um, kind of dark bar behind so it stands out more. I didn't want the text to become lost. Oh, and by the way, just in case you didn't know, this is working in Photoshop. I'm changing the uh, the width between each character on my text here. And I played around in different formats. Here's one when it's enlarged. And I'm not sure if I like that so much. Here's the text smaller with the block behind the graffiti or the, the grunge style. And here is a really white contrasted design. But I finally went with this one where it's kind of it's kind of neat in a way, and I think it works really well. So let me know what you think about this grunge style design. And be sure to tune in on Sunday when I'm going to have three tutorials in one video. So be sure to check that out. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.